Well, uh, clearly Sri Lanka is grappling with uh, the worst economic crisis. So it's reached a point, though a shipment was promised uh, to uh, the Sri Lankans, though uh, the shipment of the fuel has not arrived yet. And due to which we understand several of them have taken to bicycles. And also we understand the sales have increased in the last uh, few weeks or so in Sri Lanka. Now, the place that we are reporting from, now this is an example to show that why people have now uh, you know, resorted to bicycles because the queue that I am reporting from here in Colombo now this goes on stretches till about four to five kilometers. Now, this is the queue which we have been seeing over the past uh, two to three days here in Colombo. And uh, people have been saying that uh, because the government, in fact, uh, several of the leaders had promised them saying the shipment would arrive in a few days, they have already, uh, you know, started to wait in these long serpentine queues. In in fact, several of the people, what they've been doing right here is they have been buying breakfast and having food right here while they wait in the petrol queue. If I could go across to a few people who are here waiting in the queue. Uh, what's your good name? I'm Kavinder. Okay, so for how long have you been waiting in this queue? Uh, since yesterday 7 a.m. in the morning. Since yesterday 7 a.m. So you've been having your breakfast, lunch, dinner and... You know, yeah, basically the living in the queue. For the past couple of days. So you're literally living in the queue, petrol queue, for yes, the past yes. few days. Um, so I believe that this situation has been for quite some time now, right? Yes, so almost more than a month. More yeah. than a month, right? So the minister has promised saying that the shipment would arrive, and yeah. Uh, I mean, they say the shipment would arrive, but we are not really sure until it actually arrives. So we hope we hope to be in this queue because as of now, only IOC sheds are pumping. So the Sipet Koshets aren't pumping, so these are the only uh, queues that we could actually join. Okay. So, yeah. And also, what do you have to talk about? You know, we did speak to quite a lot of people who are trying to, um, you know, get a glimpse of especially the presidential palace, your temple trees. What they say is that you have the political leaders who have been living in luxuries yes. while you have the common man waiting and facing the hardships. 100%, 100%, because most of the Sri Lankan politicians are mostly corrupt. And uh, they they actually have their own agendas and not think about the local people. So it's a sad situation. So we hope at least in the future there will be a change in the system. And we'll have some proper politicians who so actually you, care about you, you really hope that, you know, tomorrow is going to be a very crucial day right here in Sri Lanka with uh, uh, Gotabaya Rajpaksa officially informing that he will be stepping down tomorrow. Absolutely. I mean, but still, still then again, we're not really sure he'll always make a statement saying that he's going to step down. But it all comes to the day he actually steps down until that we can't actually believe him. Well, thank you. In fact, uh, Sri Lankans are just waiting for that uh, particular day, which is tomorrow, when Gotobaya Rajpaksa uh, steps down. In fact, several of the people, this has been the condition where they've been, you know, bringing food, having in the queues. If I could go across to another person here, for how long have you all been waiting here in the queue? I am actually from, from last afternoon, yesterday afternoon. Uh-huh. Yes, we are still in the queue. You know, the queue is slowly moving. So me, uh, last night, uh, dinner also we had in the queue. Now today breakfast also we are having here. So I hope this will be all right after a few days. So you have hope? It's been the uh, same similar situation in the last few months or so? Last few months, yes. Uh, actually, after this corona, this was okay. You know, after corona, we'll be in a little bit of this type of situation. This will be all, will be all right, I think, after... Days, we see a lot of people, especially now, uh, you know, buying bicycles because the country has run out of fuel. Definitely, yes. Short of fuel. Short of fuel. Fuel. So they are so we are using more bikes and uh, pedal normal push bikes. Okay. That is solution. Only solution that you know. That's the only solution, solution that you see right now for Sri Lankan residents uh, of Sri Lanka. Now, yes, of course, you, like you pointed out, uh, uh, we understand several of the Sri Lankans are now buying bicycles. Even when we started, you know, touring along with uh, Sri Lankans, the citizens of Sri Lanka inside Temple Trees, the official residence of Ranil Vikramasinghe, we did find quite a lot of youngsters, you know, cycling inside the Temple Trees. We spoke to those young as well and all that they could say they don't really have much of a choice and they have lost hope and just like how we spoke to a few citizens here they say tomorrow is going to be a very very big day for them and that's going to decide the future of Sri Lanka